Members will come to order and prepare for debate. Members, take your seats, take your conversations outside as we prepare for debate. Representative Dank, you are recognized for four minutes and 17 seconds in opposition to the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Members, colleagues, there's not a person in this chamber, not one, not on the floor, not in the gallery, not in the press room, nowhere, that doesn't know why we're doing this. We're doing this to punish a group. That's why we're doing it. I'm for school choice. I'm for homeschooling. I'm for restructuring some of the districts so that we can put more money into the classroom. I have never been endorsed, supported, taken a dime from any teacher organization. And to the best of my knowledge, except for the, the uh, one person in my life who was a career teacher, and a member of the OEA when she was, I don't know that a teacher's ever voted for me. But I will not contribute to what I consider to be the hypocrisy today. If you think that this is being done for philosophical reasons, if you think this is being done because, you know, gosh, we just don't want to be withdrawing money from people who negotiate or bargain with the state, you believe in the tooth fairy. You know, you believe in anything. Easter Bunny. We're doing this for one reason. We're for school choice, and the OEA isn't. Well, I want to tell you something. The OEA probably shouldn't be. It's against what they consider to be the best interest of their members. And just like the State Chamber of Commerce, just like the rest of the business organizations, they don't represent our constituents. They represent their membership, and that's as it should be. But again, I'm going to repeat it to you. I have no hidden agenda. I don't get any money from teachers. I don't have any support from any of them. I have two districts in my, partial districts in my uh, legislative district, and uh, that, so there's no selfish motive here. But if you vote for this, you're voting to cut off the head of the OEA. That's exactly what you're doing. And they don't just represent them at the bargaining table. My wife belonged because they provided the type of insurance that she needed to be a high school counselor. And that was a good thing. And they do do good things as well. So members, unless you want to see it where we take out, hell, we represent, we take out money for banks. My Quail Creek Bank is on there, uh, Reverend Fisher. We take out money for credit bureaus. We take out money for the state employees, for the state troopers. Let's don't be hypocrites. If we want to get rid of state withdrawals, get rid of all of them. Not just pick out one group because we're for school choice and they're not. We're for homeschooling and they're not. If we're serious about this, let's include everybody. Let's don't be hypocrites. Thank you.